of the members of the National Honor Society, I would like to welcome all our guests tonight. We thank you for setting aside time to join us as we honor 47 students who have demonstrated the four pillars of the National Honor Society, scholarship, leadership, character, and service. Before we begin, we ask that you silence your cell phones. Also, in order to allow for a better view of our members as they enter, we ask that you remain seated. We now welcome senior member Sophie Brandt, who will sing the national anthem for us. You will all please rise. I would now like to introduce the president of the Socios Chapter of the National Honor Society, Kayla Wyman. Welcome everyone to the 2022 National Honor Society induction. To the family and friends of our inductees, to our deans, Ms. LaChapelle and Ms. Sullivan, to our principal, Ms. St. Kerr, to our Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Kyra, to our Superintendent, Mr. Adams, and to the members of the school committee, 
Thank you all for supporting us at this special event tonight. The Socios Chapter of the National Honor Society at Ashland High School was established in 1959. It is the only organization that students are invited to join based on scholarship. They qualify based on their grade point average and are then selected after a rigorous review of their past demonstrations of leadership, service, and character. More than just an honor roll, NHS serves to highlight those students who have demonstrated excellence in the areas of scholarship, leadership, service, and character, our four pillars. Each year, National Honor Society chapters nationwide dedicate their time to serving others and raising money for a charity of their choice. This year, the Socios chapter has chosen to support Heading Home, a charity focused on providing for the homeless population of the greater Boston area. Heading Home is one of Boston's leading providers for emergency, for emergency shelter, transitional, and permanent housing for extremely low-income families and individuals currently or formerly experiencing homelessness. Their Housing Plus Services approach sets clients on a pathway to self-sufficiency. The National Honor Society here at Ashton High School hopes to raise $5,000 this year for heading home, and we hope to impact the lives of others through this charity donation. In addition to our donations to Heading Home, we hope to make a positive impact on the community through our dedication to community service and our monthly donations to the Ashland Food Pantry. Being a member of the National Honor Society Associates Chapter is a privilege that our members and inductees have worked diligently to achieve. We are all scholars, role models, civic leaders, and morally just citizens. Our officers will now discuss our four pillars in, for, in further detail. Our secretary, Olivia Werkema, now lights this candle for scholarship. for selection to the National Honor Society is a GPA of 3.5 or higher. I commend all the inductees for this academic achievement, which is especially significant because of the unprecedented changes that have occurred during their time in high school. Remote learning, hybrid learning, and full in-person learning are just a few of the systems that these inductees have had to adapt to during their academic career. In order to excel academically, these students demonstrated flexibility, motivation, and dedication to their coursework. From figuring out how to use Zoom, and then Google Meets, and then working through Wi-Fi hiccups, these students have demonstrated the ability to continue achieving their ambitious academic goals. Despite uncertainties, these students have earned high grades in rigorous classes, preparing themselves for the future. However, scholarship is not only a re uh, reflection of GPA. These students demonstrate the innate desire to learn and enhance their own lives through knowledge. This passion for learning means that these students don't just excel academically because they have to, but because they want to. Scholarship is a difference between simply memorizing information for a test and actually learning that information to apply it in the future. Being a true scholar also means showing humility and asking others for help when needed. Generosity is also important, and true scholars help others learn and grow academically. NHS members have a long-standing commitment to tutoring their peers, and I look forward to the knowledge that our new members will impart on other students. To be a scholar, one must be willing to be a lifelong learner, recognizing that the lessons learned in both the classroom and outside of school are incredibly valuable to be an informed and upstanding citizen. As Albert Einstein once said, wisdom is not the product of schooling, but of the lifelong attempt to acquire it. These inductees demonstrate the intrinsic desire to learn in all aspects, in all stages of their lives. Their drive for academic success will span far beyond the grades that they earned in high school and allow them to improve both themselves and the world around them. Inductees, keep learning and growing, and tonight we congratulate you for all your efforts.
Good evening, everyone. Leadership is one of the hardest traits of an individual to judge, because truly, what is a leader? I can assure you with full confidence that every inductee here today is a leader. But if you were to ask me which one was the most leader-like, my mind would draw a blank. So, truly, what is a leader? Well, leadership comes in countless forms. The most obvious, of course, is someone with a title. The president of a club, the captain of a sports team, the shift manager at a job, the counselor at a summer camp, the section leader in a band. These are the most visible forms of leadership, the people who get credit for being leaders. But they certainly aren't the only leaders to exist in the world. In my opinion, the most important kind of leader is a leader by example. These individuals are role models among their peers, whether they be the ones who always are respectful and focused in a classroom, or the ones who are always kind no matter who they talk to. Yet, at the same time, they're almost never appreciated for their efforts. They're only noticed for their leadership in the breach of it. While this might make some assume that leaders by example simply have no importance, this couldn't be farther from the truth. After all, in the words of philosopher Lao Tzu, a leader is best when people barely know they exist. When their work is done, their aim fulfilled, others will say, we did it ourselves. Despite us never acknowledging leaders by example, we are constantly impacted by them. Their kindness, their respect, and their energy rubs off on us whenever we interact with them. And this is why leadership is a cornerstone of the National Honor Society. A good leader is able to transform the lives of everyone around them without anyone noticing. An incredible ability for any individual to have. Each and every one of the inductees here today is a leader in their own right with the ability to profoundly impact the world. We hope you continue down this path of leadership even after you graduate from high school and lead humanity to a brighter future. Congratulations, inductees. And now, our treasurer, Shil Patel, lights this candle for character. Good evening. Good evening, everyone. Let me begin by setting the Webster's Dictionary definition of character. It reads, what are the persons of a drama or a novel? Uh, wait a second, wrong definition. <laughs> Sorry, the one I meant reads, what are the attributes or features that make up and distinguish an individual? I believe this definition ignores a big part of what character actually is. Character isn't just one attribute or just something that distinguishes you from me. It's a culmination of everything that's happened throughout your entire life. Remember that bully who teased you when you were younger? They taught you how to be resilient against adversity. Remember when you got that A on a test you thought you totally failed? That taught you to trust in yourself and not to agonize over your schoolwork. These are only vague examples, of course. But I guarantee each and every inductee seated here has their own version. Inductees, all you may forget the inciting incident, the lessons you have learned, like being respectful and responsible in this school, will follow you to wherever the future takes you. During these past few weeks, I have had multiple inductees ask me about the content of their character letters. In case you don't know, each inductee has to write a letter explaining their strengths, weaknesses, in unique quantities. While you breeze through the sections of a candidate information form assessing your leadership and service, each of them can gotten stuck at the character letter. How would they list their strengths without appearing conceited, and how would they list their weaknesses without appearing as an unfit candidate? I know I struggled with this portion when I was filling out the candidate information form. My response to them and what I had done when I applied 
was to explain how they had improved themselves at the border during the time of AHS. The faculty board understood that nobody is perfect, and what they really saw in students was an effort at improving themselves. I would now like to end with a short quote from Confucius. It does not matter how slowly you go, as long as you do not stop. And that these, let this be a challenge to you to never stop improving yourself. Thank you and congrats. Our community service advisor, Clara Workman, now lights his candle for service. have exceeded the graduation requirement of 25 hours, but have continued to make a difference in our community. As a high school student, it can be easy to feel overwhelmed with school, family responsibilities, and friendships. However, NHS members are able to recognize the importance of selflessness amid personal struggles. They have shifted their focus from themselves to their communities, acting as change makers instead of bystanders. We've all heard the phrase, a smile is worth a thousand words. NHS students have personally experienced the hope and support that service brings to the community. When we help unsuspecting customers at the food pantry, tutor the elementary school students struggling with long division, or spend our evenings shelving books at the library, we are actively improving the community. With community service, it is often difficult to see the true impact of your actions. However, NHS members exhibit wisdom, understanding that appreciation is not always visible. They are not looking for praise or recognition for their service, and instead do it because they understand the importance of equality and assistance of those in need. As Oscar Wilde once said, the smallest act of kindness is worth more than the grandest intention. In my experience, the generosity of community service is truly inspirational. Acts of service shape us into considerate and compassionate people. In addition to improving our community, we improve our own perspectives on the world. Service teaches us the importance of using our skills for the benefit of others. As we gain a broader appreciation of our own lives, we become even more motivated to give back to the community. Tonight's inductees have experienced firsthand the value of community service and serve as inspiration to focus on improving the future for all. Our president, Kayla Wyland, will now explain the significance of lighting these candles. For the past three years, these same electric candles have been used in the NHS induction ceremonies. These lights that have illuminated the inductions of our past members now shine for tonight's induction, the induction of our uh, of our 2022 members. Like all past inductees, you, our new one, are here because you embody the pillars of the NHS. You have the same spark as those who came before you. This light that can be seen in your academic excellence, in your dedication to serving your community, in your leadership skills, and in your character is here tonight. Your light helps to distinguish you as you illuminate the world around you. We are so proud of you, our 2022 inductees here tonight. We're happy to have you shining your lights and we are so proud to have you represent the National Honor Society and the Ashland High School. I encourage you to use your spark to light the way for others. Spread warmth and kindness wherever you go and to whomever you encounter. We now welcome our inductees who have demonstrated these four pillars to the Socios chapter of the National Honor Society and ask that you please rise and recite the NHS pledge. Please raise your right hand and repeat after me. I pledge myself always to seek the light of truth to hold scholarly habits, to engage in worthy service, 
and to lead forward in all things that shall advance the welfare of the school. Inductees, please be seated. We will now begin with the awarding of certificates and pins. And ask you to sign our membership roll book as you take your place in the Socios chapter. We now welcome our principal, Ms. St. Kerr, to the podium for a few words. Good evening and welcome to tonight's inductees and all of our guests. Um, your presence here is because you have shown a commitment not only to the core values of Ashland High School, but also to the additional pillars of the National Honor Society. I commend you for your ongoing commitment to scholarship, leadership, character, and service. You are here tonight because you are leaders in this school community. Whether you stand out to teachers for your positive contributions in the classroom, or have started a club that you are passionate about, you have each shown in different ways how to set a positive example, encourage others, and encourage others to follow suit. Your character has been a model for others in the classroom and the halls of our school. I know that you strive to do what is right, even when no one is watching. Despite some challenges, you spent the last two years working to provide service to others. I truly believe that it is through service we learn about the world around us and appreciate what we have. I encourage you to keep looking for service opportunities that bring you a sense of joy as you continue to serve our community. NHS membership is a privilege, and it is our expectation that you continue to model the pillars, as well as our core values here in our Ashland community. It is not about being perfect, but it is about willingly and thoughtfully working to embody those pillars. Congratulations on this accomplishment. On behalf of all the administration and teachers of Ashland High School, know that we are all very proud of you. I am excited to present to you your certificates as you are inducted tonight into the Socios chapter of National Honor Society. Ms. Gallant, Ms. LaChapelle, and Ms. Sullivan will join you on the stage to present certificates and pins. We will start with our two seniors, Kira Joshi. Kira Joshi is most proudly committed to the pillar of leadership. As a captain of the varsity golf team, she is proud of creating a positive environment and helping her team succeed. Ella Turco. As an active volunteer at Project Just Because, a food pantry, she takes pride in giving back to the community and serving others. Andrew Apke. As an Eagle Scout, he is proud of his Eagle Scout project and community service efforts through his church. Senna Arms. Senna Arms is a community service. As an English tutor to a Ukrainian team, she is dedicated, dedicated to creating a safe and welcoming space for both learning and open dialogue during every meeting. Kevin Botsis. Kevin Botsis He upholds the pillar of character because he is very active in his community and he constantly strives to help people in serving communities, like how he built a chapel in the Dominican Republic for all people in poverty. Olivia Belanger. Olivia is a positive, positive and kind to people 
people in all aspects of her life. Anna Chumakov. Anna Chumakov begs to our supporter of scholarship. Every day, Anna strives for academic success, taking pride in achieving her goals after putting in effort. Anna Cunha. Anna Cunha begs to our supporter of character. She takes great pride in caring for the environment and helping others around her. Maya Dickinson. Maya Dickinson begs to our supporter of character. For project just because she takes pride in her work managing fundraisers to help those in need. Alex Dinsdale. Alex Dinsdale is most proud of his work of scholarship. Alex is most proud of his hard work inside the classroom. Morgan Dubanowitz. Morgan is most proud of his commitment to pillar of leadership. She is president of her class, as well as president of the Public Speaking Club. She takes pride in leading her classmates and peers and planning major events for the class. Kaylee Ang. Kaylee is most proud of her commitment to the Polaris service. As a role model to her peers and a mentor to kids as a soccer referee, camp counselor, and theater assistant, she is proud of her dedication to serving the Ashland community. Carlos Espino. Carlos is most proud of his commitment to the player of leadership. As captain of the boys' varsity soccer team and boys' varsity basketball team, he takes pride in motivating the team to become the best player they can be while also having fun. Antonio Fitanides. Antonio is most proud of his commitment to the player of service. As an active participant in the community, he takes pride in helping others. Tanush Garg. Tanush best provides the player of leadership. As a co-president of the Stock Market Club and Monchex Club, he takes pride in helping his peers learn. Nathan Galfand. Nathan is most proud of his commitment to the program scholarship. As an avid programmer and a diligent student, he works to complete every task to the best of his ability, both in and out of school. Elias Gleason. Elias is most proud of his commitment to the program of leadership. As a student council representative, takes pride in helping raise money for the class of 2024. Delaney Gravel. Delaney's best involved in the leadership. She takes pride in being a camp counselor where she teaches her campers new skills and helps them have the most fun, rewarding experience possible. Miami Ibnat. Miami's best involved in the leadership. As the president and one of the founders of the book club, she enjoys offering people the opportunity to try out a new hobby or genres that may allow them to have a new perspective. Andrew Clay. Andrew is most proud of his commitment to the of character. As a volunteer in the Ashland Town Forest, he is always willing to put others first and help support the Ashland community. Alexandra Lassonde. Inspiring honors in school and daily life with perseverance and determination by constantly working to make wise decisions and conduct herself in the best manner possible. Tiffany Lin. As teacher assistant, she takes pride in helping honors in classroom learn and be the best people they can. Anna McGinnis. Someone who has contributed many hours to help develop her community. Enjoy seeing the progress of our efforts. John Marchetti. He takes pride in his work and strives to be his best student to can be. Peyton McMullen. As a youth ambassador for Make a Wish of Massachusetts and Rhode Island, she takes pride in her initiative, whether it is one click for children suffering with chronic illness, and her ability to collaborate with others effectively while doing it. Lara Mukundan. At Youth Theater, she demonstrates her leadership by organizing camps and instructing young children. David Myers. Braden Pelletier. As a positive classroom role model, he 
strives to create a healthy learning environment for him and his peers for active participation and engagement. Hannah Pena. As a competitive gymnast, teammate, and coach, she takes on the role of leader in all areas of life. Matan Rashad. As an outstanding student of Ashton High School, he demonstrates a mature level of respect and positive attributes, along with being able to take criticism and use it. Tyler Robinson. As a hardworking student, he strives to do the best he can in every class. Marissa Rogers. Marissa has a body for color of the Through her hard work and integrity, she is committed to being both the best student and person she can be. Lily Rosenfeld. Lily as the founder of the Relay for Life Club, she takes pride in organizing efforts that contribute to the American Cancer Society and positively impact her community. Adam Rosoff. Adam Rosoff is takes pride in helping out his community and charities. Kyle Schiller. As secretary of the Ashland High School Student Council, he takes pride in leading and helping plan school-wide events that bring the community together. Arush Sharma. Arush As co-president of the Stock Market Club, he takes pride in teaching personal finance and investing to his peers. Joshua Sayan. Joshua as a coach for youth basketball, he takes pride in creating a positive and respectful environment for kids while leading by example. Abby Silverschlag. As a captain of the junior varsity field hockey team, she takes pride in helping and encouraging her teammates in order to create a positive and close-knit team environment. Aruni Singh. Aruni best of all for the Having worked as a mentor for her school in athletics, Aruni enjoys being able to work as part of the big community and serving as a role model. Alishba Sayeda. As a co-president of CARES and a student lead for a project just because, she's determined to help the community both socially by standing as an advocate for social justice and economically by helping people in need. Anika Tripathi. As a leader of a simple gesture, she takes pride in the work she has done for the Ashland Food Pantry. Amelia Uglialoro. Amelia is most proud of her commitment to the pillar of leadership. As Vice President of Ashland High School's Theatrical Society, she aims to influence and improve the quality of the society's productions through her work ethic and commitment. Emily Umholtz. Emily is most proud of her commitment to the pillar of leadership. As a class officer and representative of the school committee advisory council, she enjoys leading her classmates in improving the school community. Alexander Veselkov. Alexander has embodied the pillar of scholarship. In all academic aspects, he perseveres with the highest effort and integrity. Annie Watt. the pillar of service. She has spent many hours dedicated to bettering Ashland by painting the classrooms of Warren School and running youth soccer clinics. Rachel Shu, our pianist tonight, who gave up walking in in order to play for you. Rachel thus embodies the pillar of character. As a teacher's assistant, she encourages students to have compassion and respect as a way to help them build a successful future. Hania Zuman. Hania is most proud of her of scholarship. She takes pride in her academic achievements, which are a result of her unwavering determination to be the best student she can be. Thank you, Ms. St. Kerr, Ms. LaChapelle, and Ms. Sullivan.
Congratulations to each of our new inductees. As a new member of the National Honor Society, you can be proud of all that you have done to earn this distinctive honor. With membership, there are also new obligations to your chapter, to your school, and your community, but also to yourself as you work to achieve your goals. Being inducted into NHS is an honor, and becoming a productive member of the Socios chapter will amplify your accomplishments. Good luck, and again, congratulations. I now ask President Kayla Wyland back to the podium. We would like to thank the following for their help in planning and presenting our ceremony this evening. The members of the Board of the National Honor Society who evaluated many candidate dossiers and made difficult decisions regarding selection. Rachel Zhu for providing our musical accompaniment and Ms. Namath for assisting her with her preparation. Our student performer of the National Anthem, Sophie Brandt. Mr. Harrington for being willing to share the stage after school while we rehearsed, even while he was rehearsing his own show. To the custodians for helping set up equipment. Our student helpers who set up and handed out programs. My fellow executive board members who worked extremely hard to prepare for tonight's event. And finally, our advisor, Ms. Gallant, for her dedication to upholding the ideals of the National Honor Society and serving as our advisor. Please join me once again in applauding all of our new National Honor Society members. Congratulations and thank you. Please allow all of the members to exit first and we will see you in the lobby. in the lobby area. Thank you for coming.